Hi everyone, I'm Stephen Downs. Welcome back to the NRC Personal Learning Online MOOC. In this video I want to talk about how to uh, find and save resources to share with other people in the course. This, as you may remember, is one of the assignments that we talked about in uh, the Thursday webcast. The idea that for the subjects that we're talking about during the course, you can go out, find resources on the internet, and recommend them to other people who are doing the same course and who are the same place in the course. So what we want to do is find some way that we can save the URL of the resource, the title of the resource, and maybe type a short description in a way that it can be automatically shared with everyone. Well, in a personal learning environment, we would just do that using the personal learning environment. But for now, before we get there, we have to use old technology. And by old technology, in this case, I mean the service called Digo or Dijo. I never know what to call it. I call it Dijo. Uh, maybe it's Digo. <laughs> so anyhow, here's the uh, Dijo site, www.diigo.com. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to sign up and so pick the free option because <laughs> you shouldn't have to, uh, you know, shouldn't have to pay money for an open online course. So I'm just uh, putting in my address. Takes a little while, but it's a long address. And uh, no peeking now. Okay, and of course I will tell it that I'm not a robot. So I'm going to create the account and now I'm going to wait. And it is going to send me emails. So I'm going to check my email box. And here we go. There it is. I'm, it tells me to activate my account so I'll just click on the link and now I've clicked on the link. So we're there. Now it says you can either get a, a Digo or Dijo extension or use the Digolet. This choice is up to you. I'm going to recommend that you use the Digolet or Dijolet. So just click on this link and what this is going to do is take you to this page and you can see I'm using Firefox as my web browser but really this will work on any web browser that's why I'm recommending it so if you use Chrome or Internet or Explorer or God forbid Safari uh, it works the same so here's the button and drag this up to your toolbar or your uh, bookmarks toolbar and then you just let go and there it is so that's great now we have the bookmarklet there so I'm gonna go now to some other page oh I don't know where I'll go let's pick a page let's look for dolphins on Google because this week's topic is dolphins let's say and well the wikipedia page on uh, dolphins is always useful right so that looks like a pretty good page so what i'm going to do now is click that bookmark that i just saved and you see over here on the right there it is there right that's the little bookmarklet popping up and giving you a bunch of options so I, you can do a bunch of things that you can explore for yourself, like sharing to Twitter or going premium. Don't go premium unless you really, really love them. I want you to pick bookmark because we're creating bookmarks. Now you see a little window pops up here and it's pretty much already, you know, here's the URL, here's the title. We'll uncheck the private because we want to share these, right? So. Let's type a little description that'll be helpful to other people. This is a really great page on 
dolphins. All right, and now we can tag it. To tag something is to use a word or two words or whatever to describe the resource that we're sharing. It's kind of like a keyword. So the tag we're using is the course tag, which you should remember by now is NRC01PL. NRC01PL. Use that tag, save the bookmark. And you're done. Okay, so now what has happened here? So let's go back to Dejo, Digo. So I'm in my account now, and look, there's the bookmark that I just made. I could make a bookmark right in here too, right? Uh, you know, I can click on add, and then add a bookmark, and now I can pick the URL I want to save. Mine. <laughs> so I'll click that. So you see now it went, it looked, it found the title, added description. Right, so there's my home page, and now I'll add the tag. I can take some of their suggestions by clicking on them, but I'm also going to add the tag NRC01PL. That's NRC01PL, you can see it remembers it for you. So add new bookmark. Now, see, it's been added to my list of bookmarks. So, what's cool is now I can click on nrc.pl, I'll get the tags for nrc.pl. And I can click on the link here, nrc.pl, and get the, the resources nrc01pl. And I should be able to find just in DJO generally NRC 01 PL. Tag NRC 01 PL. So these are all the items tagged NRC 01 PL. Now the ones that I've just tagged, they're not up yet, right? It's gonna take a, a few minutes. They don't go up here right away. But look, here's the MOOC ecosystem. Here's the Beyond Instructional Design. These are things that were recommended for this course that people saved in Dejo and tagged NRC01PL already. And you can see the people who did this. So that's how this is really useful. And I can click on this NRCPL, NRC01PL. I know it's kind of hard to remember and view that. And details kind of neat because you can see the, the related tags like lecture or downs. So let's see, see here are various tags for downs, including Chinese markets. Well, I don't know why that's there. That's kind of wild, uh, but etc. So that's what's happening. What will happen behind the scenes now is that I, or more accurately software created by I, will go to Dejo and find this page. This is an RSS page. It's a machine readable page for this tag on Dejo. So as you add content to it, it'll show up on this page. And I will take this page and I will aggregate or harvest the contents of this page and put them in the course newsletter. And if I can figure it out, I'll also put them in the edX, the open edX website. It's a little harder to put in the open edX, edX website because open edX doesn't have a mechanism for importing content from outside like RSS, but I can do it for the newsletter. So if you use Dejo and you tag a resource, you, you create a bookmark and you tag it NRC01PL, and then you save it 
it will show up in the newsletter. Maybe the next day, maybe the day after, depends on how fast DJ works, but it will show up and then you will have made that resource available to everyone else in the course. How cool is that? This is a way where everybody in the course is able to participate in creating a course library, a collection of resources on the topics that we're talking about that people can look at, pick and choose from, and learn more about the topic. So that's all I want to say about this. This is your assignment. There's different topics each week. Try to find one, two, three, whatever resources, bookmark them, share them with everyone else. So that's it for now. I'm Stephen Downs and I'll see you next week.